Bitch, I'm so excited and thrilled to be back with you guys, okay? So let's hop right into it. Um, these are going to be general readings for the month of October. All right. So um, these messages may or may not resonate. If they do happen to resonate, leave me a thumbs up. Let me know what's going on and what's going down in the comment section, okay? I just want to hear what's going on with you guys, seeing if it resonates with you guys, how close it's resonating with you guys. Um, I just want to know what's going on with my Scorpios, all right? So, um, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that bell to subscribe so you won't miss out on any more of my beautiful readings, okay? All right, so let's hop into it. This is going to be for the month of October. My favorite, <laughs> my favorite month, season, fall. I love fall. All right, let's see. And we're in Libra season. Woo -woo. My son's birthday is tomorrow. He is a Libra. I'm excited. I love Libras. But we're not talking about Libras right now. We're talking about Scorpio. So let's hop into this. All right, we don't have any jumpers. I don't have anything that's wanting to jump out. So we're just going to hop right into it. This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising Scorpios, okay? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Scorpios. What messages are there for Scorpios for the month of October? All right, maybe there is a heart-to-heart -heart conversation that you possibly want to have with someone or someone wants to have with you um you could be really really zoomed in on your finances okay focused in on work but there is a decision that needs to be made very soon it could be involving your finances or your career um and there's just a need to have like some type of conversation with this person okay Okay, Scorpios, we have you deserve love. You are lovable. We have stay optimistic about your love life. And we also have chemistry. All right, so let's dig a little deeper. Let's dig deeper, guys. And I'm going to put this heart-to-heart -heart conversation here. Okay, so let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's dig and see what is what. What? Please clarify these messages here for Scorpios. I'm sensing that you're wanting to have a conversation with someone. Maybe I'm not picking up on something, on anything too serious here. I'm getting that maybe you are um, feeling as if you deserve this person or this person deserves you. Okay, you're waiting to see. We have the hangman. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Pisces, but we have the hangman. This is when things are just completely in the air, okay? And you're just unsure about it. You're waiting to see how things are going to turn out. So you're waiting to see if you should give your love to this person. Maybe that's why you're waiting to have this conversation, okay? I feel like you aren't as optimistic, okay? We got the Four of Cups, which is like not interested or disappointment, okay? So maybe you were waiting to see if this person was lovable or someone that you would want to actually be with long term or just trying to figure things out. But presently, you're feeling like, nah, I'm not sure if it's actually going to be worth it. All right, with chemistry, we have nine of pentacles. So it looks like you're focused on yourself, okay? I feel like you guys are focusing on yourself here. Yeah, we got the ten of swords. So you was waiting for this to be over with. This is someone that you possibly thought that was going to be a great connection, and it turned out to be kind of sour. Yeah, we have the death card, which is the Scorpio card. But this is saying that there is an ending, okay? I got two ending cards here. So something definitely 
has already ended or there is some type of ending here. And then we have the Page of Wands, okay? Fire Energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. So this is open communication, okay? So I feel like... There's no communication coming in. You're not open and open. I feel like you're ignoring this person going ahead. Um, I feel like you aren't too sure about the chemistry between you two. Um, and there's a conversation that you want to have about this. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Aries. We have the Emperor card here. Okay. And we have the Moon card here, which is the card of Pisces. But I feel like... You're ignoring this person or you're not opening, you're not open up enough to communicate um, to this person exactly how you feel. So maybe you're going to come out of some type of shell to open up and have this heart to heart conversation with this person. Why is heart to heart conversation here? I don't feel like you feel the chemistry with this person. Why is heart to heart conversation here? All right, we got the four of wands, okay? I feel like you are ready to settle down. Um, you're thinking about home life, possibly marriage. Some of you guys possibly are married, possibly separated from a person. But I feel like you're ready for a family. Um, maybe there is a fire sign involved here with this queen of wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But I feel like maybe you're prepared to, you're ready to settle down and you're weighing out your options. And I feel like just this particular person, you don't have a connection with like you thought that you would, okay? All right, so that message is going to be for a select few. Let's see what the other messages that we have for Scorpio. What messages are there for Scorpio for the month of October? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What messages do you have for Scorpio? What messages are there for Scorpio? What messages are there for Scorpio? All right. I feel like you are definitely waiting for something positive to happen or waiting for the rain or storm to be over okay you planted some seeds and you're waiting for that to harvest okay you moved on from something or someone or you want to we have the queen of wands here again leo sagittarius aries or maybe there was a third party situation and you decided to walk away from someone okay we got the Page of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Energy, and the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, I feel like you're talking, you're discussing plans with someone. Um, I'm getting like you're making plans, yeah. Like you're making plans, future plans with someone, okay. It's definitely what I'm picking up on. Okay, all right. Oh. I feel like you made plans with someone, okay. And I feel like there could have possibly been a financial hiccup, a financial... Um, thing here somebody possibly is asking for money um i do feel like 
you're going to be taking more control and being more um, courageous and bold moving ahead. But it's like you have some type of attachment to this person. Why is the devil card here? Some of you guys, it's definitely like a Capricorn. Why is the devil here? The judgment card. Wow. Okay. Someone has given someone a multitude of chances here. And I feel like someone, how they feel, they feel as if you are distant and you've cut them off. You became distant and you cut them off. Some of you guys are dealing with the Pisces. We got paint yet. We got Queen of Cups here. It came right out. Some of you guys are dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And I'm just getting like there's some what's some flirting going on. And then there's talks about money or um what's the page of pentacles here? Somebody was possibly having like some financial issues. King of Pentacles. So this is definitely about money or being in a better position. Okay. I feel like there was plans or someone was discussing plans and I feel like it had something to do with money being involved. I got King of Cups and Queen of Cups here. So definitely some of you guys could be dealing with a water sign. I know you are a water sign as well. Yeah. Something about not wanting someone to ask you for money. Okay, so maybe somebody's been asking you for money, okay? Every time you make plans, they're asking you for something. It could be, it doesn't necessarily have to be money. It could be something material. Every time you guys get together or make some type of plans, they want something or need something. Maybe you feel like this person is needy and very clingy and um, has some type of that type of toxic tie to you, okay? But they have feel, they've been feeling like you've become distant and you've cut them off because we have the Hermit card as well as the Ten of Swords. Could be a Virgo. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Ten of Wands, look, let them go. They feel as, and they're surprised about this too. They're surprised in your decision um, to kind of back away. I'm getting definitely, they feel like you've backed away, okay? Um, in the hopes and fears, we have the Eight of Pentacles. I see that um, there's some effort. Someone is putting in some effort, or you're hoping that they put more effort in. Why is the Seven of Wands here with the Eight of Pentacles? Or someone's trying to play tough or trying to get over some obstacles. Why is it seven wands here? Yeah. Knight of Swords. Moon. Oh, Knight of Wands. Some of you guys, this is some like rendezvous. Some type of late night creeps or, you know, some fly by energy. So someone's doing some fly. You're hoping maybe that you could fly, get, get in and get out. Is what I'm picking up on as well. And I am getting as this outcome with this Ace of Wands. That could be sexual energy. And the Two of Pentacles, this is keeping this thing going on. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Yep, Two of Cups. Ace of Cups. Yep, doing this thing again. Keeping this thing going. Keeping this thing going. So I feel like it's going to pick back up. I feel like it might have stopped for a moment, but it's going to pick back up. Um, I feel like you're going to have more control of it over the situation going into the near future here. Why is the emperor here? Eight of Swords. Okay, there's something come crashing down. There's this tower here all of a sudden. Something that was stuck becomes unstuck, okay? We got the Libra card here, Justice card, okay? I'm picking up on, I'm just, I'm just picking up on some of you guys are just having some fun living the single life. There's someone here 
that you may sleep around with from time to time. And I'm also picking up on waiting for this person to need you in some waiting for them to be in some type of bond bind or um needing you in some way shape or form i'm picking up on that as well too and that makes you feel powerful is what i'm picking up on it makes you feel powerful it makes you feel in control i do feel i do feel like you guys may have stopped this for a moment but it's going to pick back up that's what i'm picking up on wow scorpio <laughs> What do y'all have going on? Let me know what's going on in the comment section. It's kind of strange, but one thing that I do know about Scorpios is that Scorpios are, you know, I wouldn't say necessarily say dark, but they're very sexual. They're very, Scorpios go, go really deep, okay? <laughs> go really deep in the Scorpio story. Um, y'all let me know what's going on. This is juicy. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. I got to get out of here, guys. I will chat with my Scorps later. If you would like to book your very own reading, guys, info is in the drop box below. All right? I do have new client specials that I'm running at the moment. So go ahead and engage get your very own personal reading by the Empress. All right? All right, guys. Until next time, ciao for now.